Hello everyone and welcome to SOS Wrestling and to episode number 4 of the Academy series. Uh, nothing really to talk about, well I guess um, just a little PSA. Probably only going to have one video next week and it's probably going to be the Academy Season 1 Hall of Fame entry. Uh, very busy week next week and really this week, that's why this video is coming out a little late. So I want to thank you guys for your patience and hopefully you stay with me for, uh, you know, this ride, I guess you would call it. But uh, we'll just jump right into the awards. Wrestler of the Year was Ricochet, Company was Dragon Gate, Team was Ambrose and Reigns, Match of the Year was Cody defeating Dave Mastiff at New Japan Respect Tour, Show of the Year was the New Japan World Tag League, Young Wrestler was Harai Kawato, Veteran was Jeff Hardy, Female was Rebecca Knox. Most Improved was Square, Squared Circle Wrestling League. Independent was Tanil Tyla. I guess that's how you say her name. Basically Emma. Match Manager of the Year, sorry, is Dr. Wagner Jr. Announcer is I.G. Tosaka. Colored Commentator is Andres Maronas. And Referee is Derek Moore. So moving on to the news, apparently we don't have too much. Um, the French Sensation is available in new areas, same with Dragon Fist. And uh, as you can see, no signings. So what I've decided to do is next episode, I guess, which will probably be in two weeks, I'm going to just sim for as long as it takes for someone to get signed. And if only one person gets signed, like, in a year, I'll probably sim another year just to, uh, you know, make it a little bit more interesting, because I don't want really any more episodes of just, you know, me going over indie match statistics. But, uh, you know, it's still early in the season, so I would not be too disgruntled if you have not been signed yet. As far as matches go, we'll see how Alex Runnels did. And he got three wins, one draw, and two losses. Uh, highest rating being a 24, average rating being a 20. Pretty good year for him, working on the British Independence. As far... That's kind of weird. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I, I thought he was based in the United States for a little bit, but uh, no. Uh, Brogan Bennett, let's see how she did. Her stats are doing... Uh, I mean, they're not doing the best, but she's improved in quite a few places, so not too mad at that. Penelope Ford did beat her, uh, so she had one loss, and that was the only match she had, and that was an 18, so not too bad of a rating, but, uh, you know, only getting one match probably is not what you want to see. As far as Dragon Fist goes, his stats are pretty great. Obviously, the basics is the only thing that's keeping him from really being... Uh, you know, a big star, or even getting a lot of matches, but, um, you know, like I said last year, or last episode, if you want to get matches early, or, you know, really, go with basics, and I, I guess that's been reimbursed this year, that's not the right word to use, I don't even know what I'm saying, all right, we'll see how Frank Youngblood did on the, uh, European independence. He normally does very well for himself. And yep, did the same this year. Four wins, one draw, and three losses. Highest rating being a 23. Average rating being a 19. Uh, you know, he's winning most of his matches. Honestly, if someone was going to get signed next year, I would expect it to be Frank Youngblood to some European company. And as far as the French sensation goes, still not really any improvements. But uh, again, you know, that can always change. We've seen it in the past. Actually, with everyone who starts out slow, we've seen it in the past. And he did lose his one match. It got an 8, so not great. But, uh, you know, at least he's getting a match. Jacob Wolf, he has improved quite well. Except in flashiness. He went down in flashiness for some reason. I don't know why that is. Unless it just went up a ton. But I don't... I wouldn't think that would be the case, but uh, we'll go ahead and look at his matches. I'm expecting a few, but his basics is really low, so maybe not. 
Yeah, no matches for uh, Jacob Wolf. That's unfortunate, but uh, we will be expecting good things from him because he is improving quite well. So, Junior Scorpio, see how he's doing. It seems like being on the European independence is good for the start of your career because, you know, these guys normally get quite a few matches and six wins, one draw, and one loss. Highest rating, 24. Average rating, 19. Very good year for Junior Scorpio. I mean, when you can win six times out of eight, even if it's just on the independence, I think you're doing pretty well for yourself. So, uh, hope to see him get signed in the future. Sam Barron, see how he's doing in the uh, American independence. Hopefully he'll get a match. His basics are pretty, uh, I mean, they're not high, obviously, but they're not too bad. And yes, one draw, one uh, one draw, one win, and three losses. So not the best uh, win-loss record, but he did get four matches, or sorry, five matches, highest rating being a 26, average rating being a 16. So not the best year ratings-wise, but uh, I'm sure he's not going to complain. He's getting matches, and that's all that really matters at this stage. Uh, Tiger Dream, not much improvement. Uh, really kind of disappointed in these stats, because I don't think anyone has ever gone down before this much. And, uh, you know, coming off of last year, I thought she might get a few matches, but unfortunately, no. And then next up is Two-Face. He's doing pretty well for himself ratings-wise. We'll see if that transfers over to success in the match or independence, I guess I should say. And, uh, yeah, four wins, two losses, highest rating is 26, average rating 19, and uh, he's on the uh, Wrestling with Cancer show again, so that seems to be uh, quite a steady job for him. And it looks like he defeated Jim Nye, so he got revenge on Jim Nye after losing to the science teacher last year. And actually, Jim Nye defeated him like, the match before that, so we'll just ignore that one. It was a tag match, but he did get his revenge, so that's good to see. Uh, Walter Wall, last but certainly not least. His stats are kind of off the charts. Um, really happy with what I've seen from him. If only his basics were a little better. But uh, I, that hasn't really affected him too much in the past, and I don't expect it to affect him too much in the future. And yeah, two wins... Zero draws and four losses. Average rating 22, highest rating 25. And, uh, yeah, good year for him. He defeated Danny Duggan, I think. Now, oh yeah, Danny Duggan. There we go. And whoever this is, he has a nice picture, but I have no idea who he is. Um, anyone else that is notable? Not, not that I can see. But, you know, getting booked six times in a year, well, you know, that doesn't sound very good in, you know, real life. It's not bad for uh, for this game, three years in. So uh, that is how we're looking with uh, these guys. Like I said, if no one is signed next year, then I'll probably just keep advancing until someone is signed because uh kind of getting a little bored of this. Well, not of the series, but of uh, just going o over, uh, you know, independent matches over and over again. But uh, let's take a look at something we haven't yet. I don't think we've taken a look at Ring of Honor. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. So we'll see what their titles are looking like. Um, their world champion is Michael Elgin. Actually, I think we have. Uh, their six-man tag is Vacant. And their world tag team is Nick Jackson and Davey Richards. And their Ring of Honor world television is Jake Hager. So that's interesting. As far as, you know what, let's take a look at NXT, see what's ha happening over there. Uh, May Young Classic winner Ray Rhea Ripley. NXT tag team Castle and Dante, that's a weird tag team. NXT Mark Haskins, that's weird. And Abby Lath woman. So that's actually the only realistic one, I would say. Kimberly being the woman's champion. Let's see. Anything else that we want to look at? Let's take a look at GFW. And Jesus Christ. Like, 
if you aren't caught up on wow the pope is actually their grand champion but if you aren't caught up on what's happening with gfw uh you should try but there's a lot going on and i don't really want to get into it i might make a video on it eventually because it's really kind of uh, pissing me off a little bit because that's that was the only wrestling i watched for a little bit so it's sad to see that everything's kind of going to shit and not that it hasn't before. And Moose is your X Division champion. Rachel Ellering, your knockouts. Low Key, your world heavyweight. And Nathan Cruz and Jonathan Gresham are the world tag team. So, I guess a pretty good line of champions? Uh, I don't really know. But uh, that's really going to do it for this episode. A little bit short, I would say. But, uh, you know... Dealing with allergies still a little bit, so that's fun. And, yeah, so, like I said, probably only going to be one video next week. You know, maybe I'll do the friggin' GFW thing, but uh, kind of unlikely, because uh, next week's video is going to take quite a bit of Photoshop work, which takes a long time. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.